Greetings and salutations to you all. Once again, it is me, the Raven Inspector. And I do apologize that I haven't really put out a video lately. I think it was maybe about a week ago, maybe a little farther than that, when I had completely uh, went on the fritz and didn't even think about um, videos to be able to put out. I just haven't really been in a, in a thinking mode lately to really put out some certain videos. But um, anyways, uh, <laughs> I think maybe this is going to be a short video today. I only have three things that I want to show because I haven't really been... Uh, buying any type of games or anything too much lately. Um, I actually have Dragon's Dogma coming next week for PlayStation 4, so excited about that for sure. But I only have three of them here that I need to show because I've honestly ended up having a few digital titles and things that I've been getting recently, but I can't really remember exactly what it was that, that I got, so I can't really talk about them because, you know, I mainly talk about physical stuff on my channel, basically with this. And um, anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here with uh, these three that I'm going to talk about, and you guys like the shirt? It's a Game of Thrones shirt. Ended up finding it at uh, Goodwill, as a matter of fact. It says, Lannister Estates, Tyrion's Vineyard. And any of you guys who are a Game of Thrones fan, you know exactly what this stands for. <laughs> so anyways yeah, anyways, yeah, definitely a good shirt. And I'm not a drinker or anything. I don't drink or nothing like that. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, yay, for drinking or whatever. You know, I'm not, I'm not a drinker or nothing. It's just the fact that of it being Game of Thrones related and also the fact that uh, it's dealing with Probably my favorite character, or one of my favorite characters in the Game of Thrones uh, ser uh, series. Yeah, TV show, season series, whatever. But um, anyways, we'll go ahead and start with the first one here, and that is Metroid Samus Returns. This game is hard. <laughs> I really don't know what exactly to be able to say about this, except for, yeah, I like the I like the cover there. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's kind of a shiny a bit on the front there, and also there on the back. I did want to get the one they ended up having the soundtracks in it. I think it was like $10 more, but I couldn't order it online because they just didn't have any from the places I was looking at. But anyways, yeah, it's, uh, it basically goes back to the classic 2D Metroid kind of thing on the 3DS, and uh, it's fun for what I've experienced so far, but I've died a good few times, so I kind of really need to feel my way around and try to probably develop some more strategies as I'm going along. But um, I actually have a friend of mine that said he ended up finishing it in four days. I'm like, dang, man, I said, that's hardcore. So that's probably the only thing that you were probably playing at that point in time. And I'm pretty sure that was the case, but um, it's a fun game. It honestly is. Um, it is challenging as well from what I've seen thus far. I haven't gotten too far into it, but I'm definitely liking it for sure. I really think it would have been cool if I could get the, the Amiibos. They ended up having the Metroid and Samus together. I actually saw one a couple days ago, but the thing is, though, is that the Metroid, I don't know if it was, like, unscrewed or something. It came off of the actual Amiibo itself, but, like, the little jelly squishy part that's on the top ended up separating from the other half of the, of the Amiibo. I said, nope. I said, there's no way I'm going to end up paying $30 for two Amiibos, and one of them looks like they're broken in half. I don't even know why they even had it displayed up there. But then again, it was GameStop, so... <laughs> yeah, I went by there to, to check stuff out there and whatnot. But uh, anyways, the next one that we have here is Dishonored, Death of the Outsider. I've always been a fan of the Dishonored series. I actually just finished this last night, as a matter of fact, and it's honestly not really that long. Um, the story seems like it's it's okay, it, it's all right. It basically deals with you going after the outsider, who's one of the main characters in the Dishonored in the very first game, and he also shows up in the second game, and he's in this one too, which is like a standalone DLC. Uh, it takes place after Dishonored too, as a matter of fact. And you end up playing as Billy Lurk, and she's actually a character in Dishonored too that ends up helping your uh, whatever character you end up choosing in Dishonored too, whether it's either Corvo or it's um. Uh, Emily, I think her name is, I don't know, it was the queen chick and the dude, you know, whatever. But anyways, it, it, it's fun, but there's also some contracts and things that you can take out as well, which is good, because that ends up uh, adding some extra things that you can do on top of just doing your main mission. And there is two endings to this. I went online to see the other ending, because when I tried to actually reload my save to go back and just complete the part that I needed to to get to the other ending, it ended up basically loading up where I got to the final part of the game, which I thought was stupid. I'm like, why are you going to do that? You know, I can't even play anything after that. But anyways, there's a uh, there's a also a um a uh, what is it called? New game plus mode in this where you actually you go back through and you can play through the game, but you have all the powers from Dishonored Two, which kind of makes me think: Are you getting them from both of the characters, or is it just from one of the characters? I don't know. I don't really know. But it's definitely a fun game, and it, and it was cheap too. Definitely check it out. I think I probably got it for maybe close to thirty dollars or something like that. It was like twenty something something. Uh, I got it off of Best Buy's because I'm in their Gamer Club's Unlock uh, thing. It's actually a really good, really good membership, so you guys should definitely check it out. And uh, also, um, let's see, also, as a matter of fact, Dragon's Dogma I got for maybe about 29 something 
uh, all together, and it's like 30 something uh, just at the regular price itself. That's not including shipping and, and whatnot. But, anyways, yeah. So, uh, the next one I got here is actually yeah, a big game that I, a big game, I should say it's a big game, that I have been looking out for a while now on the Nintendo GameCube, and that's actually Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. And I got a really good deal from this. I was at Goodwill. I went to go check it out. And look, it's, oh my god, I almost dropped it. Uh, yeah, it's complete. Obviously, it's got both this in there, and it has the, the booklet too. But I ended up getting it for, I think it was probably, I think it was probably like maybe, uh, what was it, 13 16 17 18 dollars No, it was, I think it was 13 Yeah, it was somewhere within that range. But when I go online to look at the prices of the of this particular game, it's like way up there. I, I think I ended up seeing it anywhere between like 30 to $60 or something like that. I'm like, so I definitely ended up getting a steal with this for sure. And basically what it is, it is uh, the GameCube remake of the very first Metal Gear Solid game. And it utilizes the mechanics from like Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, I believe. That's actually in this, like the first person shooting and also the graphics at that point in time and everything. So definitely a game to look out for if you guys are, are fans of Metal Gear of Metal Gear series or, or have a GameCube and whatnot. Definitely end up uh, checking it out. And also check out your Goodwills, too, because you never know what you might find. I couldn't even believe that I found this. The discs are in really good condition, and it's complete and everything, the whole nine yards. But uh, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and do this quick little video because I hadn't done a video in a while. So yeah, just got three pickups for right now, and I uh, probably should have waited until I got Dragon's Dogma, but I'm like, eh, you know what, I'll just go ahead and talk about that on the next video and go ahead and just get this one out. So anyways, I will go ahead and I will end this like I always do. Later, taters.